So now let's see how we can utilize something called a scratch pad. So scratch pad is what you see right here. And sometimes you may not see the scratch pad. And in that case, you see something like this. So I just close the scratch pad and you don't see anything. So with the scratch pad uh, disabled, you can enable it back out by going around onto the view menu and by enabling scratch pad from there. So over here, the use of scratch pad is to accumulate the shapes that you use frequently. Let's say, for example, I have this shape, then you can go around and let's say I have this shape and uh, I'm going to go around and bring in, let's say this shape right here and then this shape as well. So let's say you use these shapes often. And in that case, you might want to go around and accumulate them out in this scratch pad section. So to do that, you can click and drag them out on the scratch pad right here. You can select out, let's say this computer and click on the plus button over here to add in that in scratch pad as well. You can select this, add that to scratch pad, select this and add that to scratch pad as well. If you want, uh, let's say all of these, um, uh, let's say uh, shapes right here, you can select them out and then add them to scratch pad as a group as well. So now what you can do is you can easily have access to all of these shapes, even if you don't go to different sections, which makes the working process much more faster. Uh, in Scratchpad, you can also go around and add in your own images. So to do that, you need to click on the edit button, click on add image. You can add in an image URL or drag in an image right here or click on open and select out an image that you like and click on open and resize it out right here. And you can see that the image is inserted just like that as well. So if I were to click uh, save right here, you can see you can bring in your own image right here as well. And you can bring that back over here as well by resizing it just like this. So now you can see that I got two of these same elements right here. And this is the resized version. So you can go around on to edit and you can remove the original one, press save, and you have the resized version as you can see right here. So sometimes what happens is that you may have duplicate versions of the same file. So you can go around onto the edit uh, area and delete them off right here. Click on save and this is how you can utilize it out as well. So that is how you can utilize out Scratchpad inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.